Today we're gonna follow along the most viewed butter chicken recipe in YouTube history and it's from an Indian channel so it's gotta be authentic. This guy looks an awful lot like me, I wonder why that is. But we're back at it again with our radioactive chicken. We are back at it again with our reasonably looking chicken. I swear, I tried my best to find disgusting looking meat in German stores but no chance. Seems like Germany really has certain health regulations when it comes to food, unlike other parts of the world. As you can see here, they're all bone-in drumsticks, so we have to take the meat off the bone first. Alright, daddy. First, let me strap on my prostate checking gloves before working my meat. Then, it's just a standard procedure. First, cut around the end of the drum bone and then cut along the seam to separate the meat from the bone. Scrape the meat off the bone until you reach a meaty umbrella shape and then separate the rest from the joint by cutting close to it. And that's all there really is to it. After that I also removed all of the skin. So we'll do this repeatedly for a long long, long time, time till, till all, all the, the chickens, chickens are boneless. boneless. My wife is not particularly into dead animals so I'll do another batch of butter chicken but this time with tofu. As you remember we made garlic confit yesterday so I'm just gonna crush some up. As you remember, we didn't make garlic confit yesterday, so we crushed some fresh garlic up in my mortar and pestle. Very glad I'm fluent in pounding, so it's really easy for me to beat it in the kitchen until I get a smooth paste on my hands. I mean, he didn't specify what type of chili powder, so I'm just gonna use a tablespoon of gochugado. I mean, he did specify in this version of the dish which type of chili he uses, but I for myself would just use whatever red chili mix I have lying around. I also mixed in about 2 teaspoons of salt. I also mixed in about 1 teaspoon of salt. As well as some leftover yogurt which I use for the marinade too. Giving it a nice mix. Giving it a disgusting sounding mix. Wrap it up and let it marinate for at least 15 minutes. Closing the lid and let it marinate for at least overnight. I'm taking some oil. I'm taking some oil. When the oil is medium hot, we'll start frying these chicken pieces. When the oil is medium hot, we'll start frying these chicken pieces. So we'll just sear both sides quickly and transfer it out. Searing both sides quickly and then putting the chicken to the side. You remember the word one pot recipe? This is one of those. Um, just in case you guys didn't get that, this recipe can be made in one pot, singular. One singular red onion. The pan looks a little dirty, so I'm gonna go wash it off real quick. I agree. The milk proteins from the yogurt really did burn quite a bit. Let's wash it off for now. And once it's in, we'll start scraping, because the moisture from the onion will help us release the fond. Onions in, scraping the pan until the moisture from the onions helps us release the charcoal. One spoonful of butter seems a little underwhelming to name a dish after it. Once the butter's in, we'll just keep stir-frying the onions till it's soft and golden. Not enough butter to name a dish after it in, and then we keep stirring the onions until they also turn into charcoal. Next goes in the returning star of the channel, canned tomatoes. Next goes in the returning star of the channel, fresh tomatoes from my garden. I'm gonna go with walnuts. Pretty sure cashews go into butter chicken. We always have some salted ones at home, so I'll use those instead of walnuts. Couple more cloves of garlic confit. Like hell, I'll beat it a second time today. Some fresh pressed garlic in. Some salt. Some salt. Two tablespoons of distilled vinegar. Two tablespoons of toilet cleaner. Four tablespoons of sugar may seem like a lot, but that's what the recipe says. Four tablespoons of brown sugar are in fact really quite a lot and I'll reduce it to three the next time I'll make the dish. Half a teaspoon of garam masala. One teaspoon of garam masala. To ensure that the existence of my anus doesn't get alarmingly intense later, I'm just gonna use a little bit of paprika. My anus is fairly used to all kinds of penetration, so I use a big tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder. And evenly mix it? And evenly mix it. We'll add a little bit of water because it's getting a little too thick and let it simmer for at least 20 minutes. Is it just me or is this burnt tomato salad looking kind of thick? Oh, and I'll add some fresh fennel seeds and lavage from my garden for a bit of extra flavor. I don't have a hand blender, so I'm gonna use my tiny smoothie blender. I do have a hand blender, but it didn't work properly. Hey. 
so I resort to my food processor. We're gonna have to sieve this mixture as we blend. Sieving the mixture without further blending. This is taking a really, really long time and I can't even beat it on the couch. It wouldn't take a really, really long time if you would clean the back of your strainer once in a while during the beating. So we put it back in the pan and heated it up and now it's time to add about 5 tablespoons of butter. It's time to add an arbitrary amount of butter. And 2 tablespoons of heavy cream. It's starting to feel like the real thing. Creaming into my curry. And finally we'll add back in the chicken. And finally we'll add back the chicken. So after simmering for 7 minutes our butter chicken is done. So after simmering for 10 minutes our butter chicken is done. Before we play, I just think it feels kind of wrong to have butter chicken without garlic naan. So we're gonna make some of that too. Not a huge fan of naan to be honest, so I'd rather go with some freshly cooked basmati rice. If you want to know how to cook the perfect white rice, just like your daddy's Gordon Ramsay and NP cooking, then make sure to check out my video on that, link in the description. So we'll ladle the chicken and the gravy in. I don't know what that leaf is, so I'm gonna use some parsley. Finally, we'll add on a spoonful of cream to give it that little swirly look. Serving the butter chicken with rice, some more cow sperm and parsley. Okay, is it just me or is this looking really ugly? Yes, it does. But what do you expect? It's a future canoe video after all. This is looking and smelling pretty damn appetizing. Now let's give it a taste and rate it 6 from 9. Woo! Yeah, baby! Seht wie die Klum den Ziel an Kotz und Christian Rach den Koch an Mords. One of the best butter chicken dishes I've ever eaten. The chicken is really tender and the Kashmiri chili is tickling my scrotum in places I didn't even know existed. But since it's a bit sweet for my tastes, I rate it with a solid 8.5 out of 9. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy the video. That's about it. See ya!